The other day I was talking over WebEx with Bruno Silva, who one of the things that he does the most is tune UBA for you know, IBM customers. And I asked him, would you mind sharing what are the top tips that you use and the things that you find the most? And being Bruno, like the way he is, he said, of course. Uh, so these uh, videos are, they might be more than one, are all about the tips, the things that I learned from Bruno uh, in tuning UBA. And he started with something, and he was very emphatic on this. Say, Jose, if most of the time I see that people turn UBA on because they they recommended that it's a high value and all that, and, and that's all they do. Well, uh, there's a little bit more in that, and the number one recommendation is your uh, ratio of users imported for directory, more on that later, and users discovered from events should be something like this. The vast majority should be imported from a directory. But he said that in the, in the, com in the customers that do not see a lot of value from UBA is the other way around most of the users are discovered from event. What, what that means, well, that if you get something like admin or root or typically service accounts and, and stuff like that uh, coming from logs, the UBA is going to discover them and going to start monitoring. But it has no, re no real clues who, who that person is. On the other hand, if you get the users imported the way you should be, from a directory, and maybe I'll talk more about that. Later. Well, let's actually do it right now by going into uh, here on on user import, and then you can add them from an LDAP or Active Directory, which is the, the best way. You can have it from a reference set. That's the old way of doing it. Or if you have a CSV file, you can do that as well. But the preferable way is to do it like this. And then you get a copy of your Active Directory, and in the Active Directory, and, and, and a reflection of that is that you, when you click in a user, let's click on this one that is right here, you see data about this email, job title, etc. And also, it is very important that the system knows all the user IDs from Nick Hall. The, the reason is, what Curera sees are user IDs, usernames, right? And that's key for, for UBA. Well, if, if 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 Nick Hale or Hale, I don't know how to pronounce that right, but if if he has five user IDs, Nick dot H whatever, how does the system knows that all these are from the same guy? So I can add the risk to that guy. It, it the system cannot. So so that's why getting information from users discover from event is not as useful. It is useful in the sense that you want to pick up strange things, but there should be a, even a smaller proportion. I have 10% here. It should be even way smaller than that. Most of your users should come from a directory. That's recommendation number one from Bruno. Bruno also mentioned that there is a setting, when you click here on UBA setting, there is a setting, and more on that later, uh, this one here, monitor imported, monitor imported users only. And this basically says, the way I have it here is, you monitor the behavior only of the people that you imported from a directory. If you have this set up in this way, then I'm going to be monitoring even the ones I discover, uh, because the log just came with that particular user ID. So keep this setting in mind, and probably you want to have it like this. Bruno also mentioned that one thing that he commonly see is that when, when, when people click on a particular user to see the user's activity, this page takes a great deal of time to load. Well, what you need to understand, uh, or, 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 or don't lose track of the fact, is that this tool is doing this by performing searches in Curator's data. So indexing is very important. If you don't have the proper indexing hygiene, then these, these searches are going to take much longer. If you search for something that is not indexed, obviously you know it takes much longer uh, to see it. So what you need to do is make sure that you go under the admin tab under index management. And things that you can look upon here, well, 
there are things, for example, and I and I have these set up that way by 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 default, and that's a mistake. Sense value. Sense value is one of the things that UVA uses the most. And notice that because I don't have it indexed, the number of hits are zero. So every time you search for something on same value, I don't get a hit on the on the index, so I need to do the, the, the massive search 99% of the time. So what you need to do is to select this one in particular and, and do enable index. But now when I save these, that's going to improve that. Like that, there are other things that you need to make sure that you have index. One of them is high level category, which I don't have here. So I'm going to index that as well. You should have also low level category. You should have username index, which I do. And you should have sense overall score. Let's see if I have it in here. I don't see it in here. Let me actually sort these by name and scroll down until I until the S and make sure that I have that one this one that I don't have also index but again this is a demo system so but typically in your system you will see that there's a lot of misses uh, okay and very low hits so you need to index that one as well of course you need to be very careful not to index too much stuff as you see this warning in here is tell you well if you're going to index everything that's going to impact the overall system performance and you definitely do not want to do that but that is uh, there's also something else that we may address in another set of videos which is all other problems with indexing in curator but again at, at the very least you should go there and have all those custom properties uh, index and that should improve when you go into UBA and you click on a particular user that should speed up the way that a page loads when you're looking for a particular user. If that doesn't even fix the problem, you may have an indexing problem and that may that that is something that again we will try to address in a series of videos on tuning because uh, indexing affects searches not just on UBA but on the entire system as well. On the question of what type of logs should I be ingesting in order to have to see value from UBA, well, the number one rule will be everything that has a username, a user ID, right? Because otherwise, that that's the uh, in the same way that you need a directory to know who is who in the zoo, you also need to make sure that the logs actually provide those user IDs, so so the UBA can begin to add risk and, and to play with those uh, at the risk to, to that individual, right? Now, and we're going to be addressing this more in detail when we talk about the how you tune up the rules, the particular rules in UBA. Uh, but uh, there, there's also a, a, a setting here. If you scroll down here, there is this setting that is off by default that reads search asset for username when username is not available on the event and flow data. So if you are having events that come from a particular asset and you have a good, that's a, that a big, that's a big if, if you have a good asset database which where the name of the user is assigned to that asset, then you should flip this option on. But I don't think that that's going to be the case for most users, but I just want to make sure that uh, that gets mentioned here. Well, this video is getting a little bit too long, so let's cut it in here and let's do a part two where we're going to be talking about how you set the threshold, some other tuning parameters, and how you deal with the actual uh, rules in UBA.